Now if you want to know why British World War II newspapers tend to be more common than World War II German newspapers, it's because World War II German newspapers were for the best part made of really poor quality paper and they tended to be folded multiple times and what happens over the years is they tend to rot where they've been folded at and so they literally end up like this. This is one complete newspaper. Um, it's uh, an area, county, town newspaper. So it's the daily newspaper of Schweinfurt in Germany. Schweinfurt, um, probably in history, is more famous for making ball bearings. It was the ball bearing making center of Nazi Germany, really quite a few times by Lancaster bombers of the RAF. So that's where this is from. You get various other daily newspapers from various other areas of Germany. They tend to retail at quite a high price now, purely because they literally fall apart. This has come apart where it's been folded at. This one is Monday the 20th of March, 1944. And as you can see, the Nazi eagle and swastika features as its main kind of decoration on the front. So we'll undo that and we'll take a look at it. So, we have Schweinfurter Zeitung, which means daily newspaper of Schweinfurt. Here you go, Swastika. Monday, 10th of March, 1944. And we have a little bit of a carry-on in the Netherlands. Roosevelt and Churchill had a meet-up. Something about a, a heavy bomber attack. Berlin, 19th of March. So not only is it the daily newspaper of that area, there's also things that are going on in other areas as well. So we'll open this. Most of the World War II, in inverted commas, Nazi newspapers tended to be just um, two-sided efforts. And as you can see, it's really, really poor condition. So what we'll do is we'll open that like that and we'll put this front to there and we'll match up this back to there so that's the inside and as I say most Nazi newspapers tended to only be two pages so there's something going on in the Dnieper region there Russia and Finland it's all in this nice gothic type script something happening in Japan something about soldier there so there's all the different areas of Würzburg what's happening there So as I said, these very rarely survive and they, they tend to be in a really fragile condition. On the back, you have, well you don't need that translated, sport. Down here, family notices. And various killed in action. Franz Volta and Unteroffizier. Oscar Bonner, an Obergefreiter und Fahren Junkte. And then down here, these are civilians. Frau Roger Dahl Fine, somebody called Kurt. Frau Otto. So they're mainly civilians, but there's a couple of military ones as well. 
you have all the other notices. So that's a really poor condition, but a rare survivor. The Schweinfurter Zeitung daily newspaper. From Monday the 20th of March 1944. As you can see, where it's been folded, it's just literally rotted and dropped apart. So really lucky to have two pieces. And in complete condition, they sell for around 10, 15 pound a piece. That's how rare World War II German newspapers are. Schweinfurter Zeitung, daily newspaper of the state or town or city of Schweinfurt. Monday, 20th of March, 1944.